Now let's walk through the steps of depth first search post order. I'm going to bring up our tree here and we're going to start at the root, but we're not going to write that number to the array. We're going to visit that one. We will come back to it and we're going to go left to the 21, visit that node, go left to the 18, visit that node. Now the 18 is going to try to go left and there's not an item there. Then it's going to try to go right and there's not an item there. And finally, the 18 will write its value to the array. That'll be the first item in the array. Then we come back up to the 21. The 21 has gone left when it went to the 18. Now it's going to go right to the 27. The 27 is going to try to go left. It's going to try to go right. There are no items there. So it will write its value to the array. Now we come back up to the 21. It has gone left when it went to the 18. It went right to the 27, and now it can write its value to the array. Now we come back up to the 47. It's gone left, but it hasn't gone right yet. So we're going to go to the 76, and we always go left first, and it's going to go down to the 52. It's going to try to go left and right. It doesn't have any items there. So it will write its value to the array. We come back up to the 76. We will come down to the 82. It will try to go left and right and write its value. Now when we come back up to the 76, it has already gone left and right. So it can write its value. And now we come back up to the 47. It has gone left and right and it can write its value to the array. So when you compare post order, which is what this is to pre-order the one that we did previously in pre-order we wrote the 47 to the array first in post order we write the 47 to the array last okay so that is our quick overview of depth first search post order